We've got our tea ready for Lil. And now we have a few minutes to gather some of you. Let me see if I'm... Am I ready? Should have, should have checked before I clicked this button. But you know, here we are. And as you, know, you guys know, I, I tend to just like put myself out there for you guys. So, excuse me if I reveal something incredibly embarrassing from my quarantine. In the meantime, let's turn this off. Oh man, hello! Okay. How are you guys doing? You guys good? We've got a day. So right now we have Miss Lily Coles, AKA Isabel Evans. Um, <laughs> God bless someone that just wrote, it's never too early to start drinking in Miami. You're from here, aren't you? Um, <laughs> Um, so we have Miss, Miss Lily Coles up first in just two minutes. And then we go straight into my friend um, and sister, Amber Midthunder, Rosa Orteco. Hello, UK. How are you guys doing? Um, <laughs> it's fun time somewhere in the world. Yes. I'm good, guys. I'm very good. I'm excited to be doing this. We've been like racking our brains as to what could be some fun stuff for us. So to do for you guys and um yeah I asked who do you guys want to talk to and you sent every single cast member and then went to my cohorts over at WB and CW and said is this something we can do and they made it happen so we have a day a day so right now we're at tea but right around Michael Trevino this will change to wine probably hello from Rio Rancho New Mexico hi guys Oh damn, that's very hot. Okay, um, let me pull up my Lil questions. You guys had so many Lil questions. Questions for Lil Lil. Um, and then we will we will bring her on. France is here. Sunny California. I hear it's hot. Hello. How you doing, California? Um, Ohio. My God, we've got a group here. Um. All right. Oh, we got some good Lily questions. Um, I'm so glad that you guys are. Oh, she's here. Hold on. Um, go live. It's going to be a day, guys, of you dealing with me and my technology. Oh, my God. It's the alien herself. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I know, I feel underdressed. <laughs> Billy Coles, where's mine? <laughs> oh my God. This is so, oh yeah, this is so. Good morning. Good morning. Good, morning, good afternoon. How, how are you? I'm doing so well. I'm so, thank you for having me, first of all. It gave Listen. me a reason to get up this morning and uh, put on some appropriate attire because you know. usually I'm just in pajamas. So yeah, it's yeah. Cool to this finally be in like a nice outfit. And I will say that I just tried, I just bought this new hair oil because I'm like, oh, I'm, like, I'm going to get my hair really healthy. Mm -hmm. And I just put it on. I was like, I'm going to have like such shiny, glossy hair. And if I'm being honest, <laughs> this is like two hours. I was like, I'm going for like a wet... <laughs> It's like a, like a mermaid look. kind of, <laughs> it's like a nice 90s kind of, <laughs> just like a couple strings. This, that's so appropriate stuff. for a show. Look at you. You're like Avril Lavigne. Look at you. But I swear that my hair is going to be like so healthy. So healthy. Um, I'm actually, so thought of you. Is this right I've, I've been playing, yeah, 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 get that book on. Um, I've been, I've been um, giving my skin a break and now I'm like, okay, I think it's time to try some non-toxic beauty stuff. So I ordered some nice. and I'm excited to try it because it nice. I do feel like we're getting to cleanse everything. Maybe that's a little better yeah. for quarantine life. Well, I will say that when you first, when we first talked about what we could do and we landed on tea time with J9 and Lil, but yeah. when you first asked me, I'll share this for all, everybody who's watching, but Janine was like, do you want to like make masks? 
And I was like, oh, that's a really cool idea. And I was like, completely missed the mark because I've been living in quarantine and I'm cuckoo. I was like, oh, that's cool. I was like, what can I make a mask out of? I had fully prepared. This was going to be my at-home mask. Rolled oats. Oh, my God. And honey. Honestly, that sounds... I was going to smear it all over my face. And I'm almost disappointed now. And then I was like, so what are you making your mask out of? She was like, a bandana. I was like, a banana. <laughs> That's smart. She was like, no, a bandana. I was like... Oh, I'm talking about different kinds I of meant, masks. like, that kind of mask. Like, safety mask. Not like, like a mask. safety mask. <laughs> hey, honey, you know, honey's not going to do anything for you. Hey, there. hey. Mondays aren't going anywhere. Except Next week. Week. Isn't honey... Um, masks. By the way. Here's okay. my tea. Hey, tea time. So we just thought, you guys, that we'd just spill some tea today here because okay. Janine and I know all of the secrets. <gasps> oh, do we? And also, Lil, I am, I, I asked the good people of the Roswell New Mexico fandom for mm. questions for fans, for, uh -huh. for, from fans, for cast. And let me tell you, girl, they are, I have so many more questions for you than anybody else. I love it. I mean, it's I guess. But like, first of all, what's the deal with her? Start from the top. Lily Coles. <laughs> the, the name itself is a question. First of all, how do you say it? It's Coles. It's a silent it's W. It's Coles. Um, I'm just put it there. So, okay, I'm gonna just start because I know I, because I some of these are brilliant. Um, here's the first one, which I think will just get us started and, and give us a sense of the direction we're moving in. What's it actually like to whisper into Michael Trevino's ear? You know, God, what a scene. <laughs> I have to say, that was probably one of the best things that I've ever been able to do. First of all, the man, he smells so good. He does. And I joke about this, and I've joked about this before, and I'll joke about it again, but you have to be very careful when you get close to him because the cheekbones are so sharp that you could cut yourself on them. It's a hazard. You have to really, you have to like it's really- It's an onset hazard. hazard. And it's important to lead with the lips too, because the lips can take it if you get cut, but the lips yeah. are so, it was very important for me to kind of just Work really lead with the mouth. I had the fun idea, because it wasn't written in. I think it was like, why don't you take me into the bathroom and let's, it was more explicit. She was like, let's go into the bathroom and let's do it or something. Get to work. And I was like, you know, is this one of these things that I can like toy with a little bit? So I was like, maybe what I do is I take him in and I just whisper something and we don't know what it is. And that's more fun than just being like, let's have sex in the bathroom because it's like, who knows what's going yeah. on in that Yeah. So I had this idea that I'd be like, I want you to take me to this bathroom and then. And it was, I pretended like it was for plot, but really it was so that I could whisper into his ear over and over again. And I would lick it too. I licked it. I think that's like a screenshot. And that's like, the tea. <laughs> that, that's the tea. And you know what? Very clean ears. Very clean. I will say it's so hot in my house right now and I'm wearing this full on onesie and Listen. I'm just, I'm getting a little sweat going and I'm not mad about it because I've, I've heard it's important to sweat. I mean, your commitment is spotted. Oh dear, she breaks the sweat. Maybe it's because I'm talking about Trevino. Um, and also, he's just a great target to make. Blush. He's really fun. I actually, I realized in that first, in the first season when we had that one scene together all in the room where we were trying to revive, I was like d dying of poison. I had like poisoned mm -hmm. myself or I'd gotten him to poison me, right? He stabbed me in the chest with it. <sighs> Never been more pleased to be stabbed in the chest. Than <laughs> I, I was like, go, go. I was like, put your back into it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The something. Except I'll say, Janine, he <laughs> did not he went about a quarter as hard as you did when you were giving me the address. I don't know my own strength. Well everybody, she's a strong woman and Janine just full on was thumping me in that chest. Eventually this duck came he's like, you know, you don't actually have to he's like, you can just fake it. I was like, No, do it for real. I was like, This is real life. We and have to I, do like, it. I hate being that actor. Like, I'm the one that's like, guys, listen, we're not saving lives here. No one needs to get injured. And then you and I get in a scene and I'm like, ah! what is it? Isabel, oh, it's your least favorite house guest. 
I just believe it very, very deeply it. with you. It's uh -huh. hard though, because I had the same experience once with Glamis. Um, there's a scene in which Isabel, it hasn't come out yet, but it will be coming out soon. Um, uh, Isabel hits him over the back of the head. She like smacks him in the head, like, go, like snap out of it. Uh -huh. And you know, the director was like, so what you do in this situation is, you know, you just do a hand flick and it looks like, and I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, bam. <laughs> Every time I was like, Doof. I was like, Glamis can take it. <laughs> Heather was like, do you have some unresolved rage or? He, it's just, it seems like he's due for it because he does it to everyone. And the yeah. curls will protect him. <laughs> exactly. He's got three inches of fluffy curls. Whereas if you hit my head that hard with my seven, fine strings yeah yeah, yeah. colette's gonna be like don't stay I'd away be, that's that's lily's hairstylist i'd be knocked out i'd be knocked out um, um here's okay, wait, really for... briefly though with the trivino <laughs> thing i was trying to remember some old ones and the the one that i came back on there were some that were so that got so naughty that i had to like apologize afterwards i was like i'm so sorry that went like way too far like i started cussing i was just trying to like mess with him because trivino is really fun he's like fun to kind of like have some fun with but totally. I feel like there was one where I was like why don't I let why don't you take me to that bathroom there and let me probe your anus <laughs> and we that have makes like, me want to lift my foot I don't know why <laughs> we have a screenshot of his face at one point we're like, he's like oh actually I'm kind of into another girl sorry because <laughs> he's the most down so like he'll sit there and be like yeah yeah yeah, you, you do you little like whatever comes to you and then the poor guy's just gotta <laughs> sit there and be on camera <laughs> i can't i can't so good Whew, i'm gonna uh, have to okay, wait here's room. another really glam being a little a little too extra with mm -hmm. the uh physical stuff on set we did a scene one time and it was in season one and we had some sort of like physical something or another and oh, that's what it was. It was when I was on the rooftop and I had the AirPods in my ear. Right. And he had to reach and take, or he didn't even have to. He just had to get my attention. But in the moment, right. he was like, I'm going to rip the AirPod out of her ear. And hello. She has her hoop earrings on. Hello. Okay? <laughs> He ripped a hoop out of my earring and out of my ear. And thank God it was one of the like snap off ones. And I was oh like, God. I love you, Glam. Touch my hoops again, and we got shit. <laughs> we got I touch my hoops again, and I'm taking the hoops off, and it's going down. <laughs> and that will not be good. <laughs> no, you don't no. touch a Cuba, uh, Cuba Nazir at hoops. You so don't touch them. He deserved. He deserved the spanking. Thank you, Will. Yeah. And that's You're welcome. Tea. And that's it. Okay. Drink next every question time. For you. Every time we get some tea. And every time we get some tea. And Okay, next question for you is, um, okay, I'm, I'm going to hit you with, with, the, with the more serious one, which I got a lot of versions of, but how are you feeling about um, is this new LGBTQ storyline? And romantically, what do you want for is? Thank you. That's a great question. I was so happy. I mean, I think Isabel... The, the impression that I get about this character is that she's always defined herself against what she thinks she's supposed to be. So growing up, she's really good at it, right? And she's, she's trying to fit in because she knows she's not human. So she's like, okay, I have to behave exactly right. Mm -hmm. And I can really relate to this. I think a lot of people can relate to this where it's like, I'll be right. If I do everything right, then no one can fault me for anything. But the problem with that is that you totally block the opportunity to explore what you really are because you're playing by someone else's rules. And I think that's what season one we saw of Isabel was her, you know, that all coming to a head where she'd always been playing by, you know, she'd been fit into this box and it's a box mm -hmm. that she just not fit in. She had to like mm -hmm. smush herself down and she was so like tight and bent up about it. Um, I think she got married to Noah really young. I don't think she yeah. ever had time to really explore things. I don't think she was even willing to explore anything because she was so concerned about coloring within the lines. Um, everything got ripped away from her. She had so much trauma and bad stuff. Her life just burned to the ground. And it was like, okay, well, now I might as well start all over again and figure out who am I really? Mm -hmm. And it's such a weird question. I think about this, like what makes us who we are, you know, what are all the, what are the character traits that we're like, yeah, that's me, that's me. Cause they're just things that we kind of decide and then run with. Um, mm -hmm. But I think it was a great season for her because she got to question a lot of those things. And um, 
when Karina talked to me about wanting to do, you know, have Isabel explore her sexuality, I was like, yes, thank God, because Isabel has never explored anything. She needs totally. to explore all of that. Um, so I'm, I'm so excited for her to be able to explore lots of different things. And I mean, I think it's an interesting question gender in general I, I know that michael has that famous line like it's a real bisexual alien blast around here like welcome to the party yes. but i think it i have wondered well what is gender on their planet do they have male and female does she even know what it is i mean did she slip into this female body and just you know what will that look like when they start to really question um where they come from and what that's like i wonder if um gender identity is also something that she'll question i don't know that'd be Absolutely. really cool i would love that but in terms of what i want for isabel i do want isabel of course to have you know to get like sexy with someone and to feel mm -hmm. loved and to experience that but right now i think the best thing and i've been so grateful that it's been like that this season is that she gets to have a love affair with herself. And she's been able to just be like, you know what, I'm saving myself. I, I'm not gonna ask somebody to come in here and save me. I'm gonna be my own best partner. And um, that like Emma Watson, like self coupled idea. I, I think <laughs> about the end of Sex in the City where it's like the most important relationship is the one you have with yourself. And I'm like, that's true with Isabel right now. I think yeah. she's gotta be her own boyfriend. And as someone who has been my own boyfriend before, yeah. I really appreciated that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, man. Now we got to spill the tea on this story. <laughs> 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 so speaking of being our own boyfriends, this is like, this is so was this on the pilot? <laughs> it was the pilot. Oh. It was the pilot. Yeah. You were up at Bonanza Creek. <laughs> Janine was shooting in like the middle of nowhere and I was bored I wasn't I hadn't been shooting for a couple of days and I was like I'll go and visit Janine so I drive up like an hour into the desert and I had nowhere to go I was like can I hang out in your trailer <laughs> and it was hot food night and we had some like brisket brisket and it was really stewy it's like really stewy, stringy, and it was freezing outside. Freezing. We were in giant puffers sitting in my trailer, and Lil had a cup, a to-go cup full of this stew. And we were talking I had already gotten a full serving. I had already eaten like a plate, and then I was like, I was like, man, that brisket's good. I'm gonna go back for another little Dixie cup. It was like a solo cup. Full solo, of cup solo cup, solo cup. I was like, a little snack for the road, a little snack for the road. <laughs> And we were talking about being your own boyfriend and like how you have to assert that for yourself and like like own your your you time. And Lil was like, you know, I've I've struggled with this in the past because you know I just I don't stay on the market long. <laughs> and proceeded to like go for the last bit. I was like chugging brisket. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you know, the thing about me is I just don't seem to stay on the market long. <laughs> Janine was there like, <laughs> I can see why. I uh, clearly have an appetite. <laughs> Just immediately was like, oh, shit, I love this one. And I think, I think I'm yeah, done. Well, and that's the tea. And that's the tea, okay? I love everything you said. And um, I'm so happy for Isabel to be having a season of that, of like her having a good old time. She deserves it. Jesus Christ, season one was hard on her. Isabel uh, had a rough time. It was a rough time. And also, I agree with you that identity is something we, we have, like, historically clung to so much. And, yes. and it's like, we are humans. We're changing all the time. So we should be asking ourselves constantly and checking in and asking questions about the things that we associate with so heavily. Like, they might, they might not be true for us anymore. Yeah. So I'm glad Isabel's doing that. I always feel like it's strange when people... And I, I get that there's like a line between that hypocrite, you know, but people are like, That's, you can't say that. You're, you already claim that you were this. Like, now you can't be this. And it's like, well, we're, we're so big. We contain so many different sides mm -hmm. that I always think with a character, the interesting thing is the ways that they contradict. What, what are their contradictions within that character? Oh, yeah. um, and that's how I am too. And it's like, we, the, our, our own personality is so big that we have these things that are conflicting within us. Like, like I'm, I'm a really nice, like I like to eat brisket and, shove it down my mouth and also I want to be like a sexy cool girl and yeah. things are in conflict that's it. but but 
but yeah. yeah. I think allowing yourself to be big and not feeling like, well, if I'm this, then I have to, you know, like limiting yourself in some way. Yeah. And that we have so much of that still to see on TV for our female characters is just an indication that we have so much of that to still break down. Yeah, it's like, oh, she can't do that because she has to be nice. Like she can't yeah. ever have like a yeah. moment where she's a, like a loser or we see her lose or, you know, she's mean or something. But that's one thing I love about Isabel. Like we see so many different shades of this girl. She can be so mean. She can be like nasty, she yeah. be funny, she's loyal. There's like, yeah. I love okay. the work that we've gotten to do together this season. Uh, that's, I was about to say that because when you're talking about being nasty and then being wonderful, <laughs> I feel like Liz has been on the receiving end of so much of it. And it's so fun to see you access all of that. Um, and I got to say, I just, I love it when she's sharp as shit, Isabel. I, it's fun. It's fun to be on their side, receiving end of your like, like verbal face, face slaps, you know? Um, so do, are you going to be speaking any Spanish with Liz? I liked that question that someone asked. What I love fun? it too. I tried to sneak in some Spanish. I yeah. grew up speaking Spanish, so I would love to do that. And I like the idea that Isabel growing up in New Mexico would also speak Spanish. I don't think it's something where, yeah. you know, it's like totally feasible that, you know, a lot of people in New Mexico speak Spanish. It's like the mm -hmm. second language for sure. Maybe even the first language. Um, Absolutely. But I tried to sneak it in actually in this, in 204, in um, when Isabel was trying to reunite the family, the Ortecos, and she yeah. slipped into Arturo's mindscape. I was in there like, what are your dreams? I was like trying, I would say it in Spanish. So I would like yeah. ask them a question, I would ask it again in Spanish, but they were like, probably because of time, they're like, we can't just have you totally. repeat it in Spanish. But I was like, it'll be really cool if Isabel was in that mindscape with Arturo and like speaking Spanish to him because that's what he would understand. Yeah. But I'd love to. Have a, yeah, have some. and for those wondering, part of the reason why I love this question so much is because Lily does speak Spanish. She speaks it, so that's a fun thing. We speak it over here. Hablamos uh, español. Hablamos español acá. Podemos hablar español <laughs> en Roswell. Okay. I'm going to hit you with some would you rather questions. I'm like you nervous think? about these. I always get nervous because I feel like once I answer it, it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, answer well. I'm like, think yeah. well, because if that if comes true, it. you already answered. <laughs> well, then shit, this first one's a tough one. Would you rather be still married to Noah or stuck in a pod for 10 years? Oh, you know what's, you know what's weird about that is my gut reaction. It's like, both of those have good parts. I'm not like, oh, what? I'm like stuck in a pod for 10 years. I'm like, imagine you'd come out so rested. <laughs> We're in our own pods right now, aren't we? We are. I'm like, I feel like that goo just does wonders. It's full of collagen. It's full of space collagen, that goo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta do like a skincare <laughs> line now. I miss, and Noah, when I think about Noah, I think of Karin, the actor yeah. who played my husband, and I miss him so much. I love yeah. him so much. So I'm like, married to Noah, yeah. But yeah. then I'm like, wait, Noah was like a terrible man. I feel like if Isabel could do it now, maybe Isabel could do the kind of thing where she, she's like, don't. Yeah, exactly. She's like, she's like You're so powerful please. now too. She's powerful enough. Maybe she can like take out his evil or she could, you know, switch him around to the good side or something so that. Yeah. But I can still be with Karin because I love him and miss him. Oh but no, God. I think Isabel needs, I think Isabel deserves. Um, I would stick Isabel in the pod for 10 years because I feel like she could handle that. I mean, personally, yeah, yeah, I go yeah. back and be married to Karin for a while. Duke it out. Pretty, yeah. All right. And then last one. Oh, it's, a, it's not even a hoodie. It's a whole onesie. Just so someone was saying that they liked my hoodie. Um, yeah, guys, this is an entire outfit head to toe. Okay. <laughs> she came full out. She came full out. Um, okay. I'm trying to, we're gonna have to do another one of these next week, just you and I, because the people have questions for Lily. People have questions. But, all right, here, I will ask you this. Um, would you rather be allowed to only enter the wild, the wild Pony or Planet Seven? Oh my gosh. Listen, I love you, Maria DeLuca. And I love you, Heather Hemmons. And hopefully one day we can just be like super tight and like, you know, shacked up together and we can just spend every living waking moment together. But I'm going Planet 7. That, that was There's a, a vibe. There's a fun vibe. I don't know if you guys have made this connection, but 
planet seven is a reference to the seventh planet in the solar system, which is, does anybody, Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. <laughs> planet seven is Uranus. So, I love that. <laughs> that's where I'd go. <laughs> I love you, Lil. Thank you for joining us for this. I love you. This okay. was so much fun. I miss you so much. I miss you so Let's much. Let's FaceTime later, okay? All right, we'll FaceTime later. <laughs> and then, I should we do one week where you and I just go live? Heck yeah, for I would love that. For amount of time. Let's we can make that. masks out of honey and oats. And Lord knows we've got more tea to spill. We have so much. We didn't even get into that much. I mean, honestly, probably for the best. Here's my girl. I love you. I love Stay you. Safe. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for joining. Mwah. Ciao. Bye -bye. Oh, I don't know how to get off. It's fine. I'll just stay on forever. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. Let me.